Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're talking about 10 manipulatives you should have in your classroom to teach mathematics. Why use manipulatives, you say? Do you have students that just don't understand after you explain a math concept? What if you used a math manipulative to teach that concept? Math manipulatives are excellent tools to share with students to develop conceptual understanding. It's a concrete way of building knowledge about math and the concepts and how they work together. Let's look at 10 manipulatives you should have in your classroom now. Number one, clocks. You can use clocks in your classroom to tell time and practice reading the time with an analog wall clock. You can use multiple clocks to represent different time zones in the United States or in different parts of the world making real world connections about what time it is in another part of the world while it's only a certain time where you currently are in the classroom. Making math more meaningful and relevant to the students in their daily lives is helpful. Number two, rulers. You can use rulers in your classroom to measure things and practice reading and comparing measurements. You can also measure different objects inside the classroom and around the school with rulers, yardsticks, or meter sticks making real world applications about what types of measurements are easier to do with the right tool, making math measurements more relatable to students. Number three, pattern blocks. You can use pattern blocks in your classroom to apply geometry concepts and practice problem solving skills. You can also figure out how shapes relate to one another and can make larger ones by putting together certain shapes, making real world applications about what types of shapes are a fraction of another shape and so on. This helps students make concrete knowledge of geometry by figuring out what shapes relate to another. Number four, playing cards. You can use playing cards for a variety of things in your classroom. Number sense skills are easy to practice when using playing cards. You can play different games with any of the four operations and the numbered playing cards. It's easy to incorporate into the classroom with a fun game board. Playing cards are just plain fun and students don't even realize they're doing math half the time because they're just playing games. Number five, dice. You can use dice in your classroom for a lot of things. First, dice are commonly used for number sense. Like how many spaces do you get to move? What is three plus five? What is six times five and so on. You can also use dice for probability of rolling a certain number on one or more dice. And dice can be the most fun manipulative if you have them handy for fluency practice too. Number six, chips. Chips are great for number sense also. You can use them in lower grades for operations. In middle school, it's easy to show positive and negative integers by displaying different sides of the chips. Students can then get a concrete understanding of how to solve number sense problems. Number seven, decimal and fraction tiles. Teach students to name fractions and decimals, comparing and ordering fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, and model different operations involving fractions. These are double-sided fraction tiles to help students name fractions, compare, order, and model. They're a perfect addition to your math class to show students what fractions look like. Number eight, play money that looks real, and it is an actual size of the real money. This set of realistic plastic coins, which replicate actual coin size dimensions and details, all the coins are colored to match real US money. This is a fun real world math practice and very practical for kids of all ages. Because in the real world, kids will use money and they need to practice and be fluent with how to use and spend their money. Number nine, 3D shapes and nets. This is a really cool math manipulative to add to your classroom. Students can master 3D shapes and nets by using a variety of 12 hollow shapes in five different colors, and all the shapes come with folding nets and removable stoppers. It's easy to take out the net and show the students how they fold to make the shape. These help students visualize the 2D sides of the solid 3D figures. You can also demonstrate volume, master fundamental concepts. They are shatterproof and include sphere, hemisphere, cylinder, cube, prisms, cone, pyramids. These are perfect to use in partner groups where you pair two kids together because it is a set of 12 for a class of 24. And last but not least is number 10, a scale. You can weigh liquids or solids for learning about measurements. This scale is easy to read and the tray can be removed and washed. It's a great addition to any math classroom to use 
and practice measurement for precision. Here are the three rules for your math manipulatives. Number one, they must be applicable to a math skill that you teach in your class. It only makes sense that you have math manipulatives that you are using in your classroom that are tied to a standard or benchmark that your kids need to practice. Number two, students must have access to using the manipulatives. Kids must be able to manipulate and touch the manipulatives in order to create understanding of concepts. Having just one math manipulative for 24 students does not make sense. You need to have at least 12 for partner activities or six for group activities. Note, it's not always possible to have a class set of 24, I do realize this, but you could have partner or group kids so that they get a chance to touch and use the manipulative. Number three, manipulatives must be easy to store in the classroom. The last thing you want is a bunch of manipulatives that you cannot store in your classroom. Make sure that you have room for whatever you're going to use so that you can store it and use it again and again. So when a problem arises in your classroom, like the student does not understand a concept, try using a math manipulative to teach it correctly. Grab your own copy today of the 10 best math manipulatives. This is a list here at the website, teachingmathandmore.ck.page forward slash manipulatives. Are you ready to implement your math manipulatives and teach math for understanding? The Summer Math Workshops is the fastest way to do that. With workshops on math stations, math vocabulary, classroom management, math chats, and math intervention. Be ready for this school year with the best tools. Sign up today. The link is available in the comments below this video. For more information about the Summer Math Workshops, be sure to sign up for our VIP teacher emails. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Cheers to another great summer and school year ahead.